Good morning, YouTube. Uh, we're here on a, on a very active scene here on the 710 on the Bandini off ramp. And uh, we have a tanker that, uh, that rolled fully loaded with diesel. Looks like it's red dye diesel, just by the color of it. It's leaking. And right now we're uh, currently waiting for, for hazmat, for help hazmat, to uh, make the necessary calls because they don't want us to do it, uh, to upright it fully loaded. Mostly because of the integrity and the risk factor as well too. These holes, the way that they're, they're made, it looks like they're welded in sections. So as well, if we were to attempt any type of upright, any type of torsion or side, side torsion like this, could cause it to crack the welds and and uh, essentially cause it to to make a huge spillage. So you know, seven thousand seven thousand gallons of uh, of diesel on the roadway or here on the on the embankment or on the off ramp is a is a huge risk, not only to uh, to the surrounding areas but uh, to commute. As it right now, it's uh, about one thirty. 1.30 in the morning, so obviously it'll probably uh, affect the rush hour come uh, 7 a.m. to, to 8, 8 a.m. Just look at it, it looks like a driver lost control on the off ramp over there and, and, and rolled it. The driver was fine actually, he was transported just for, for precaution, but uh, we saw him earlier, he just had a little scrape on his head, but he, he was fine. It's a 40. 40? 40. And it had 7,000 7, gallons? 7,000 gallons of diesel. Okay. So we're, we're, shoot. Well, I don't know, it's a 40,000 gallon tank, and we only have 7,000. Oh, the actual size of, how, no, well, no. What it'll hold? Oh, what it'll hold, I'm not sure. Uh, You're not sure? No. You know how much it is? It doesn't, doesn't say in any of the paperwork. The yeah, it has 7,000. I guess we, we contacted the company instead of 7,000 gallons. Yeah. But the actual full capacity of the right. tank, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, what percentage is that? Yeah. Be? I'm assuming it's fully loaded. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. You want me to call and see what's the actual yeah. capacity? If you, if you could establish, looks like it's two tanks. Yeah. And yeah, two compartments. So <laughs> is it 3,500 and 3,500? It should and be. if it is, what's the, what's the max holding on each of them? Okay. That way it gives us an idea where our liquid line might oh, be. Oh, okay, I see what you're That's saying. That's what we're trying to figure out. Okay. If you could find that out, that'd I be will. great. I will. I'll do Thank that. You. Hey, do you know how many, how many gallons it could hold? I know it has 7,000, but... 7,500? 7, yeah. Because yeah, it looks sure. like it's two compartments, but so if it was 7,000, I would say, what, 35 on each side? Uh, because you gotta figure that that tractor's about 18, maybe 20, that trailer's about 10, 11, 30. You can only hold 50, and fuel's about six and a half. So, six and a half. It doesn't weigh the same thing as water, 8.8? Wow. It's a lot lighter? Yeah. To a certain degree. It could be seven. So Give or take 7 with 49. It's kind of cute. It's kind of it depends. Diesel's heavy. It's around 6 and a half. Yeah. It could be 7. It could be 7 or 7,500 depending on the product. That it could hold? Yeah. Yeah. It could hold up to 7,500. They each hold or one? No, one. The whole, the whole thing as a, as a whole. Is 7,500? Yeah. And it had 7,000 7, in it? Yeah. So it's, it's fully loaded. So, 
Looks like he was able to contain it, huh? <laughs> Looks like you guys were able to contain it. Yeah, just we have a couple of uh, football and a golf ball that just absorbs the material. And expands. So we put, it expands. So we put a little water on it to make a fiber and then shove it up in there. And then we hold it long enough for it to keep expanding until finally, if there's not too much pressure, yeah. we're able to get it stuck. It took them a couple of tries. But that's what's in both of those, the front tear and the back tear. Looks like it's still dripping a little bit. Just a tiny bit. But way better than it was. Yeah. What are you thinking, bro? Uh, I wanted to do it loaded, but I guess they, they, they don't want to. Um, uh, mostly because of the way that the trailer is. Yeah. Uh, if you see, there's seams of, um, of welding there. Right. So as we pick it up, if, uh, if you're off by a little bit, you create some torsion. Almost like a soda can, you know how you twist it? It could kind of pinch points and start cracking it open. So it wouldn't be worth a $800,000 hazmat bill, you know? No. So I guess uh, the company, I guess they don't have any offload crew. So I was talking to the gentleman here and he says that I guess Hal Hazmat would probably call a, a vacuum truck or something to, to yeah, empty I, it out. I, I called Caltrans too uh -huh. to roll out for the Hazmat. So okay. still waiting for them to show up. Okay. Seven pounds, yeah. So it's around the money. Seventy-five hundred. Yeah. But seven by. No, they're seven, fine with so it. Four, seven thousand would be fifty. They just wanted to know so they can calculate the airspace on top, so they because they they might have to drill it. <laughs> what torsion? <laughs> <laughs> Just to give you an aerial view of this before uh, before the pump truck gets here, we got Caltrans over there with the hard, hard closure, and that's the Let me zoom in on it. Rolled. So apparently it was uh, coming off of the coming off the off ramp, or I guess westbound. Not westbound. I guess. Yeah, we're getting off on, uh, on Bandini West, and uh, somehow rolled it. So what they're gonna do is let me zoom in right there where the light is shining. They're gonna basically uh, drill a hole, which is called a stinger operation. And that's where the pump truck is gonna gain access to pump out the, the 7,000 gallons of diesel. So uh, this unit apparently uh, could hold up to 10,000 uh, gallons of fuel. And diesel weighs about 7.1. So just to have simple math, 7,000 times uh, the seven pounds per gallon, very, very heavy, extremely heavy. So, um, just to give you a rough idea. There you go, there's your 49,000 pounds of fuel, which was leaking, which they ended up containing it. So now they have to offload it before we could actually uh, do the recovery. Meanwhile, we're just on standby right there, as you can see, with our trucks. Flipper, Hulk, and truck 85.
it's roughly uh, almost four o'clock so yeah roughly the ETA of uh, two hours for this pump truck uh, finally came through so they parked up in front and then the tanker that's supposed to receive uh, the diesel fuel from uh, from this overturned uh, tanker uh, I believe it's gonna come off the the off-ramp so it'll go back up or come this way but I know it's being escorted by a CHP unit so yeah sometimes these jobs take a long time uh, it's uh, a lot of different uh, agencies working together so uh, hopefully they could uh, pump it uh, fairly quickly and safely so we could uh, start uh, upriding this, uh, this tanker Pump the fuel from one truck to the other? Yeah. How long does that usually take? It depends. So uh, this was probably going to take like an hour. There's a tanker. So this one's going to pretty much park right next to the, the tanker. set up right here exactly where the tanker's at yeah once he moves out of the way we'll set up both our trucks here my straight stick was gonna go in front and just start dragging it over just to get it close uh, uh, I spoke to the gentleman and he said somewhere on Washington he didn't give me the exact address but we might just take it to our yard and then deal with it in the morning that way they give us an address. That connects to your pump? Okay. So your pump's plumbed into here, so we just need to connect the hose here. You turn the pump on and open that up, and it pumps into the tank. They put that pump back there. That's yeah, too, right? they do. I think the issue was that it wasn't, uh, they didn't have a long, a long hose enough for that, which would have been ideal. <laughs> I think they're gonna require you guys to run another break. What's that? They're gonna require us to do another break. The hoses we have are kind of limited to what he has on his rig. We spoke with the driver. What he's gonna do is he's gonna swing it left and back in so we can use that small hose. Or not, it's gonna be. It's only 23 feet. Right? Yeah, it's only 23 feet. They so the, it's the either guy. that or we wait for them to get something out of here. If you can run a traffic break, Fire's going to move their vehicles. Fire's coming forward. I guess they're running the break because uh, as you heard the conversation with the police officer, uh, this truck doesn't have a long enough hose to reach uh, in, the, it's, in its current position. So what they're going to do is uh, basically move the truck, uh, make a left, and then back it in uh, parallel with the, with the down uh, tanker.
sides of this tanker, you know? The offload crew is going to start uh, pretty much cutting a hole in that tank uh, to have ready to extract. They have the utility trucks over there, their barrels and other accessories. And then we have, uh, we have a vacuum truck over here ready to go. This process will probably take roughly about eh, maybe an hour, an hour and a half. That'll be a uh, goal time for us. So the offload process is pretty pretty slow obviously they're limited to the the pump capacity uh see how fast they can pump out the, the fuel the diesel actually uh it looks like they're going to make uh, two more holes which is this one and the one in the back obviously uh these uh these tankers have baffles in them so when you're driving as the fluid goes back and forth it doesn't uh doesn't sway your truck as much. So uh, normally those baffles, uh, the fluid uh, obviously is able to go through the bottom, but since, uh, since it's on its side, uh, it's only gonna go down to a, a certain level. So they pretty much have to drill a hole out where each baffle's at and uh, suck up from there. So yeah, as soon as this is, uh, pretty much offloaded we could uh, do our magic and then from that uh, from that point the this environmental company Graymar will uh, will assess the how far down that uh, that diesel went down into the dirt and if it is they have to excavate it and you know get rid of it remove it now that there's daylight you can pretty much give you a walk around We got 360 of this, uh, this unit. Yeah, we have a couple yards here. We have one in uh, La Puente, here in uh, Boyle Heights. We have one in uh, 
uh, Fishburn, which is off of East LA, off the 10. Um, and we have one down at Wilmington. Oh, see, so the company is pretty much two, well, it's one company, but um, one of the brothers runs the LA faction, and the other one runs uh, the Inland Empire faction. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So here on this side, we run most of the, the heavy duties, so we're the recoveries that we pretty much do them here. They do recoveries over there, but their bread and butter is more light duty. Yeah, like light. light duty. So yeah. they got like a hundred trucks of that. And then we got all the records over here. We got a 20 plus. plus. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, mean, I didn't know Pepe's had the, 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 the rotators and all that. Oh yeah, we got seven of them, man. Yeah, we got, that's, that's our bread and butter is recoveries. That's what we do. because it's a ground wire. Just wait on that. They're almost done anyway. The air is on the I heard Mike here earlier. He was here. Oh, was here. Who was he on the land? He brought donuts. No, he brought the flatbed. Oh. Big, look it. Hey, we could just take the, no, for a rider? It's a rider truck. We could just take what? The tractor. Everything? It's a rider truck. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's a rider truck. Good morning. How you doing, man? Good Fantastic. You again. Good seeing you again. You guys got a strategy on how you're going to get this up? Absolutely, Do you yes. need the ramp closed or no, anything? No, we do not, sir. It's all going to be within this closure. So okay. two of those trucks are rotators. They'll, they'll bring the back end of the trailer around. Either we're going to swing this back over that way. And that way, when we, uh, when we upright it, we'll put it right on the shoulder. And then Sasquatch and Sun right here will fall away. There you go. Looking good. like it, man. You're feeling you. Feeling you. Um, yeah, that's, that's what are we looking at time-wise from when you start to when you're pulling it away? Roundabout. Hour and a half. That's what I said Not earlier. Okay. Good enough. All right. Thank yeah, you. The hardest part is that the setup, but especially dragging it up. That's, that's when the time we bring it up. I think if it was if it was actually fuel, it would have combusted immediately. But since it was diesel, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the back. I'll get the back. We get the front right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. Well, no, no, no. Let me get the back. It's still gonna run. I want. We're gonna bring this over. Well, you know what? We should just leave this here and then start bringing. Well, he could be backed up to it, just extended. As we're bringing it up closer to us, he could be booming in and up and putting it towards them. Right? Can we use chain or chilorio? Bailey's. You could use chain. Bailey's ice cream? Bailey's. All the time. Yeah. No chains. What are you going to use? Five eighths or three quarters? You're gonna go like that. What are those? <laughs> I can kick and tickle you. They got some other on the TikTok. Smooth. 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 Good. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt either. Look at Unless he like wiggled out. I think he probably wiggled out. Yeah. Probably too much pressure for him. Yeah. There's no way he would have survived without it, bro. Yeah. Did you see him? 
Yeah. He you? Looked a little beat, banged up, but yeah, but yeah, I just saw a little scratch on his head. He's still transported him. So I guess they have about 80 gallons left, which is the one that's uh, the diesel tank for the for the tractor. And I guess they're gonna suck up the the hydraulic fluid from the top tank um, with their vacuum truck. The the other tanker, the the one that was used for the offload, is basically gonna take off now. So they're gonna kick that guy loose and uh, proceed. So like I said, these these things take time and uh, a lot of standby time. But it's kind of kind of funny, you know, all that all that offload time and standby time for for uh, the two minutes of glory it will take to uh, upright this, uh, this tractor trailer. No, I'll, I'll put it in there. It's a try. I can pass. Yeah. All right. Where is it going to, though? Or do you want us to get to the yard? I have no clue. Okay, because I know it's a rider truck. Yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, we'll just take everything to our yard and then I guess they'll call for it. All right. All right, then, man. All right. Well, did you have a business card or the person in contact over there? Uh, you want his number? Yeah, sure. So CHP is basically stopping traffic. Get this cone out of the way and then we'll smash it. So this one's fully loaded. <laughs> With the fuel from the from the down tanker. Now the, the vacuum truck's up next. Suck up the rest. Is it gonna what? Can I set the brake or no? Yeah, can, is it okay if we set the brake? Does that affect your guys? What's it gonna do? Just, psh, just let it go, release on the air on the... No, just let the guys know. Okay, you know what, just wait. Just wait, it's not gonna hurt anything. Yeah, they'll, they'll be done in like 20 minutes. Yeah, this, I'm not worried about it. Thanks, man. Once he moves out of the way, you'll back up over there. Castro will put right here, and then I'll go right here next to it. While well, you... We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna put Castro right here, right? Yeah, hey, I could, I'll grab the tractor at once. Come here, Castro. Just take, just park in the shoulder, about two feet from the shoulder, bro. Yeah. And keep some distance, because you got a lot of move. Yeah. Because when it comes over, it's gonna... I know. It's gonna swing this way. I'll grab it first, and then when we swing, when, as you're winching it, I'll grab it and I'll place it here. You know, believe it or not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna park almost like that, but way back there. Yeah. Okay. Tyler, man, where? <laughs> By, by, yeah, by the time that swings over, you're gonna be right here. Yeah, well, but I'm gonna be at an angle. That way I'll let you come in. I could be at an angle. I don't have to be square with it. No, I'm gonna be far from it. No, you can be parallel, but I'm gonna be at an angle. Okay. If being at an angle, that allows you to come back. Yeah, you're not gonna have more than what? You're gonna be like this. What are you gonna have, like 10,000 pounds at the max? Nothing. Yes, yeah. Yeah, nothing. I'll be back here. I'm gonna come in almost like this, bro. Very much. So what I'm getting at is, you know, when I rotate, I'm gonna rotate it and then when I rotate it and drop it here. But once I park it, I'm gonna... Yeah, we'll run our straps and stuff and then we'll barrel roll it. Make it look nice. Oh, thanks, man. Good job, man. You guys used to be a statewide, right? Yeah, yeah, we're all... <laughs> I'm actually the only statewide one here. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, I've, I've worked with you guys a few times. Yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, I was going over with them uh, once we're done pumping with this truck and uh -huh. we move it all the way. Is there any work you guys need all the way? No. Pretty much. What are you guys gonna do after? Uh, pretty much assess the the dirt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're just trying to figure out whether they want to start digging today, tomorrow, Monday. Okay. That's the easy stuff to figure out, though. Yeah. As long as everything on this side, like the holes and stuff, because yeah. he's gonna be dragging it over to him. 
I'll basically be lifting the this portion of the tra of the of the trailer and the tractor just to put it on the on the shoulder there. Then we'll rig to upright. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll get all the stuff out of your way and then um, make sure everything's all good to go. And nice. And, um, this is what I'm saying. Look. I know a grab hook. Run put through the, the bottom. Put oh, look above the fender. Yeah. We feed the chain through there. Uh huh. Grab hook here, just to get it up. Just to drag it over to yes, us. Yes, Let's bring a 15 foot. Yeah. Well, I'll wait till we come back. Yeah. For, for sure. Okay. Okay. We're going right there, so please. Okay. I'll get it. Probably be our, our lift too. If you want to use strap, I'm okay with that. Okay. Either that or it's binding here. Oh, that and it's bent. Uh-huh. Right? Yes, sir. So what we'll do when we get it closer, we'll, we'll tie it. Okay. okay. I appreciate it. Oh, you're Thanks. awesome. Be nice, man. Back me up. No, that's it. yours. No. <laughs> Yeah? I'm almost done with my fitting real quick. What happened? I'm almost done with Yeah, I'm not even close to being done, dude. Go ahead.
I know. I'm, I'm gonna grab it, and as you're pulling it, I'm just gonna sustain this in so the you air. Got the trailer. I'm hooking up on one chain to the trailer. Now you get it. <laughs> no. Good. Yeah. Go ahead. I can swing it. I have it in the air, go ahead. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, I know. What? You want to upright it like that? Really?
Ugly man. <laughs> that was ugly, dude. Hate that. What happened? Oh, dude, this thing's gone. Yeah. It hurt. I just, I just, it was already here. Yeah, I won't. I'll get that for you, yeah, brother. Thank you, man. This one? This one here, then. Alright, so I'm gonna send the guy up top to look at that rear dome. Yeah, we're still clear. We're not touching it, we're not we're not tangent at all. I don't you have a shovel? I think so. Is it up? Up on top? No. Awesome, appreciate it, man.
Oh, now that's uh, upright. We could, that's it. We're pretty much done here. Flippers put away, hooks put away. This uh, tractor trailer's hooked up, so we have to go. Thank you. Alright guys, on the 710, peace.